G'day everyone. Here's a uh, little trick I've seen someone else do on YouTube and I thought I'd give it a try myself. I am uh, wanting to add some sand into my display refugium. This is all the sand that I'd originally taken out of my 125 gallon uh, main display prior to moving to our new house. And the trick that I've seen people do was uh, put sand into a soda bottle and um, and then put the soda bottle into the aquarium upside down, take the lid off and all the sand pours out and all the dirty uh, particles in the sand just stays in the water in the bottle and uh, no mess. Um, it generally um, works better with dry sand. Uh, this sand has been sitting now for a couple of months um, it has dried out somewhat. There's still a little bit of moisture in it, so it, I'm not sure how well it's going to work, but uh, we'll just give it a go and see what happens. And it saves a lot of mess if it works. Just put the bottle down into the water. Take the lid off the end of the bottle. All the sand should pour out of the bottle, and all the dirty water should, by right, stay in the bottle. Stop flowing, give it a little squeeze every now and then. And as per usual, it's always fun to do with one hand. <laughs> Squeeze. You can see the slowly flowing out. Getting a little bit of sediment in the water, but Quite surprised at how well the sand is actually flowing out of the bottle. I mean, it wasn't completely dry. But I would have liked to eventually put all of the sand from the 125 into the display refugium, have a really nice thick sand bed. Be growing all the macroalgae in here. Well, since the sand has been sitting in storage for a little while, I'm not going to add it all all in one day. Probably add you know, a two litre bottle maybe once a week. Let's see how things go. I guess I'll gauge it by how the protein skimmer reacts to it because it has been sitting in, in a container for a while, all the sand. back 
a little bit. You can actually see in the bottle there's a lot of dirty water about halfway up. Sands about out of the bottle now. And what you need to do is put the lid back on the bottle so you trap all that dirty water in the bottle. So it doesn't end up in your aquarium. Let's take the bottle out. Let's pan back a little bit. So as you can see, all this water in the bottle is all really dirty water that had I just poured the sand directly into the aquarium, I would have had all this dirty sediment floating around in the aquarium and take forever for it to settle. Turn the water flow. Actually, before I turn the water flow back on, I'll just might lift up this rock here and spread the sand out just a little bit. You don't really need to lift it up. Spread out the sand a smidge. And eventually all these rocks and coral will be taken out of this aquarium. on at the moment. Let's see if I can Not my <laughs> makeshift tripod. You do whatever works, right? Turn the back to where it's supposed to be. Now we've got the water flowing again. Once 
since the water level evens out from the aquarium to the sump I'll gauge how it goes with the protein skimmer once the protein skimmer settles down so I'm sure there's a lot of died off stuff in the sand from sitting so long I'll gauge it by the protein skimmer and once things settle down I'll add some more sand again but uh, this is definitely looks like the easiest way to add more sand without making a huge cloudy mess. So this is about 15 minutes later. The white lights have now turned on. And as you can see, I mean, it, it's not perfectly clear, but for having just added sand and I've stuck on my macro algae unit, well not quite all of it because yes I still have my um, crown of flames and my reactor back there actually now considering taking it out and sticking it in the sand but yeah you know for just adding sand and I'm sure everyone that's tried it in the past you know, adding more sand to your aquarium and the major sandstorm you have in your tank that can last for hours this is definitely a better way of doing it it's quite clear and the water levels gone back to normal you would have seen earlier the protein skim overflowing but that was just because the water level in the sump had risen up because so I turned the flow off but now that I've um, turned the flow back on the protein skim has gone back to normal I've actually uh, yesterday put the new pump in this is an 800 gallon an hour pump I did before have a 1200 gallon an hour pump in here with a bit of clear tubing I opted against going uh, and keeping the clear tubing so I do eventually want to put a light here I'll be taking the protein skimmer out and I'll put it, be putting a light down here so I can grow some more macroalgae down here and I kind of figured having clear tubing is just going to promote um, bad algae growing in the, in the clear tubing so I uh, decided against that and went back to the PVC so this is all plumbed up and flying back into um, the tank up here so yes definitely re would recommend if you want to add more sand give the soda bottle method a try and uh, keep your tanks a lot clearer so I hope you like this little demonstration of um, an alternate way of adding sand to your aquarium um, and so if you like it give it a thumbs up and uh, leave any comments below and and uh, make sure you subscribe if you're not subscribed and and uh, I'll catch you on the next video